It's this history uh, with doing the lower six, so sort of 16, 17 year olds. Uh, today we're going to be covering social developments between 1951 and 1964, specifically we look at the position of women and then attitudes to immigration and racial violence. Well, firstly, I'll be checking their homework so they've all gone away and filled in their book on women, so I'll be firing a few questions. We've got a little starter activity where we're using some whiteboards just to test people's answers. Uh, and then there'll be set independent sort of research tasks. Again, then I'll be walking around the room, checking everyone's answers, seeing what they've got done. And then we'll do a little bit more with the whiteboards. And then there's a couple of worksheets we'll be doing to sort of check on their learning. We're going to evaluate the extent of change to women's lives in the 1950s. So you've all done this for homework, so it should be nice and brief. And then we're going to analyse the impact of immigration and racial violence. We'll have a quick look at some clips about Notting Hill riots. So first things first, you might all notice on the desk, you've got a little whiteboard. <laughs> You've already looked at the difference in role of women in 1951 and 2017. Well, it's got at least three factors that explain the change in the role of women in the last 66 years. So if I give you guys two minutes to do that, and I'll get them all to play them up a little bit on me, and see how it goes. Right, can I just have answers flipped up in the air? Let's see what we've got. So, Matt, can I just get one point from you, please? Okay, so rise in employment. You get another point of Hallie. Uh, second wave feminism. Can you explain what second wave feminism is to the class, please? Um, well, first wave is the suffragettes. Okay. Second wave is like uh, equal pay in the workplace, all the stuff that happened in the fifties and sixties. I'm not sure exactly how to define it. So it'd be stuff like you know, the campaign to get more women in the workplace, to get equal pay, which is still arguably ongoing. Stuff like the pill, right to abortion, which is a bit beyond our sort of scope today. But we will explore it as the society goes on. And then third point, off you, Jack. Um, women's work-wise, um, now they have a... Or women now have uh, upper-class jobs, but then there will be no way of them working in government as a lawyer or a doctor. Okay, so sort of professional jobs. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Has anyone got any different points they want to share with us? Yes, Ali again. Um, household devices like washing machines, fridges. Before that, a woman would spend like a whole day washing. Um, have to go to the shop every day because there was no way to keep food fresh. So it freed up time and allowed women to be able to work. Brilliant. So mechanisation. 